Welcome. Over the next several videos, we are going to begin looking at the Gutenberg source code. And you can find this on GitHub at WordPress slash Gutenberg. And you'll see as we scroll down, we have a bunch of different folders. And as we begin to explore these, if you've ever worked with a modern JavaScript or React app, this should have a fairly basic and understandable architecture. Now, some of this is unique to WordPress, but we'll find that in general, it follows good JavaScript development architecture. We have a bunch of different component folders and we'll dig into all these over the next several videos. We have a number of configuration and tooling files, some good readmes, list of contributors. And I do wanna point out that throughout the Gutenberg source code, there is a lot of good documentation right within it in the readme files, so we'll be looking at those quite a bit. Some more tooling files. We have our main plugin file, which is where we will start our exploration in the next video. We have our package JSON, our webpack config, and then if we scroll down, I'll zoom out a little bit here, you could see the contents of the readme file for this main page here or the main root directory. So I highly suggest that you go ahead and pull this up in the browser, or if you want to download a copy or clone it locally to be able to explore the source code at a certain point, you will definitely wanna be doing that uh, because it's a lot easier to search through it using find than it is sometimes in the browser here. And as we'll find out, there is code within here that we'll sometimes wanna look at or even copy and paste into our own block plugins. Now, I also wanna point out the reason that we're looking at this on GitHub is that it has all of the source code. So for example, if I come into blocks, we could see that there are a whole bunch of different blocks. If I come in, I could see all of the different code itself come into data and you can see we have this here. Now, the reason I'm pointing this out is that when you install Gutenberg, so I'm just gonna pull up the directory of where I have my local WordPress install, and you can see inside of plugins, we have Gutenberg. But if I come into these folders, notice that all they have is a build folder with an index.js file. So if I were to open this up in my editor, I would just see a compressed build file that is not going to be helpful for us to be looking through. So for that reason, when we're looking through the source code, we don't necessarily want to be using the installed plugin as you would install it through the admin area just by searching for Gutenberg and adding that as a plugin. And when we come in here and we look at this, we're gonna see all the source code itself so we could really understand what's going on. Now, like I said, you could download a copy of this and then you could see everything here and open them up in your editor as well as do like a find all and look for something within the source code, which is going to be very helpful. Now, the last thing I'll point out here that may be a little outside of your understanding at this point, but if you ever wanted to install Gutenberg as it's being developed and get the latest version that might not be in the plugin in the WordPress repo, then you could simply come over here, download it or clone it, run npm install and npm build, and then you could run this right within your plugin directory. So that may be an option for you if you follow what I'm saying. If not, don't worry, but this is where we are going to be checking out the rest of the source code over the next few videos.